Well, as we shift into this year's election cycle, we're reminded that the May runoff is around the bend as two Democratic challengers eye a chance for retiring state Senator Drew Springer's seat. Dylan Jimenez spoke with two candidates ahead of the runoff election day. Dylan. It was a three-person race back in March. Michael Braxton and Del Frey were the top two for the runoff and vie for votes to be the lone candidate on the Democratic ticket in November. It's been an emphasis of campaigning for Senate District 30 Democrat candidates Michael Braxton and Del Frey, hearing every voice in the 11-county district. I, I visit all my counties. Uh, 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 sometimes that it rained. It was it was late in the evenings, and and but I put my time in. And I was very confident in what I was doing. In order to be competitive in this race, I'm attempting to be more specific about what my uh, advocacies are. I'm trying to right now be more detailed and more specific about what my plans are and what my intentions are. For Frey, it's talking with public school teachers and being against the school choice program, along with joining the Medicaid program. We have money in the bank. We can pay for a school voucher program. It, however, cannot sacrifice our public education funding. We Texans are paying for medical programs in New Jersey, but not that here at home. We're losing good $10 billion a year. Braxton's biggest learning experience for West Texoma is water security. I'm focusing more on that because if we can't get any water, we're, we're, we're getting, you know, kind of game over. Both also eye property taxes and border security as top issues heading into 2025. When you can put out some good information and people can can understand the good information, you make it clear to what you want. So I was very confident. It's been pretty much been smooth sailing, making sure our fellow precinct chairs in all of our counties are aware of my race. And we're just taking it from there. Vying for votes as the Democratic nominee for Senate District 30. Early voting begins Monday with the runoff day, May 28th, the day after Memorial Day. We also spoke with the Republican candidates. To hear from them and other election news, visit your local election headquarters on TexomasHomepage.com.